Now in this video, we're gonna do something very special. We're gonna make a special video for uh, John's grandma. Uh, who is gonna celebrate her birthday, her 76th birthday, um, on April 14th. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jonathan and this is Nikki and this is my uncle and aunt. Hello! Which I'm living currently in Dallas with them and they've been preparing a lot of stuff for, you know, the food that I made in this house. And today we are making a special video for our grandma to celebrate her 76th birthday. Um, she's in Indonesia, but she loves to eat and we mm. know exactly what stuff that she loves to eat. So we actually pre prepared a three course meal of her favorite food. Uh, this is a very special appetizer from Surabaya, where we are all from. And it's also the, the favorite for Oma. Ingrid, can you pursue with how to prepare it? Sure. So usually what my mom likes to do is, she likes to eat tofu by itself, uh, fried tofu. And then she always get a patis, it's like a shrimp paste. She likes to eat it with chili. But today we want to make something different for her because this one is gonna be a little bit fancier, okay? What's the name again? Tahu Tek Tek. Tahu Tek Tek, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember why it's called Tao Tech Tech, okay? Because I think every, every now and then they, they have their car going around our neighborhood and make noise. And the sound is like tech, tech, tech. And I think I don't know what kind of tool that they use to make that sound. But yeah, that's I think how the name comes from. So now I'm going to show you how to make it, okay? First is uh, I bought this one. Since we are in America, we don't need make yeah. our own uh, lontong or rice cake so we bought this one uh, this package and then we just boil it in water for 60 minutes or one hour and then after that we put it in the refrigerator and then we cut it like this and then i'm going to uh, show you how to cut the tofu so it looks like the person who sells the uh, the one in the cart okay so like this, and then you yeah. cut it. Cut in smaller pieces. <clears throat> okay. Like this. And one more. And we're gonna be all done. And after that, I have um, some potato, fried potato. So today I use the one that I air fry, so it's less oil. And then I'm going to put um, the potato inside here. And then I have a um, tauge. Do you know what's tauge? Bean sprout. Bean sprout. Yeah. Okay, it's bean sprout. And then I'm going to put it on top. And some parsley. Alright or parsley and then the last thing is gonna be the special sauce so since that? since we are in america i don't grind everything myself because i don't i cannot find all the ingredients in here so i use um patel sauce and then i put some shrimp paste which is patis Right. What is pachil again? Can you tell everybody here? Pachil is also some type of food with uh, it's like Indonesian salad, and this one is gonna be the sauce for the pachil. And that's peanut paste, yes. right? Yes. Uh, and we have it here in the Chinese grocery, and you can yeah. get it. It's a, called pachil, B E C E L. Okay. All right. So I just. Get that one and I'll show you the patis that I got. Yep. Looks like this. Okay, so this is a shrimp shrimp paste. And then I just put it inside the pachil sauce. And then you taste it with some salt and sugar. Okay. And then I'm for that I'm going to pour this one. Yeah, do it generously because it, it tastes really good with that sauce. Okay, like this. Waterfall. And then you add yeah. some 
uh, crackers, rice crackers, right here and right here. And tada! This is our version of tahu tek tek from Plano, Texas. Oh, we are making a seafood spaghetti scampi. So here we have all the materials from garlic, the spaghetti, pasta, shallots, parsley, and then this is basically just Italian seasoning, and then shrimp and lemon. We are still waiting for the scallops to come and also for the lobster. Chop the garlic very fine. That way, some of the garlic actually will melt with the sauce and it will make the sauce taste it much better. Now we are gonna boil the water. So you want to make sure that the water is tasty enough. That way the pasta, after it's cooked, it tasted actually really good already. So you can actually eat it without the sauce. So that's very important because that's gonna make the pasta all the more tastier. The Italian seasoning, so just put it in. Now as you can see the water is starting to boil and the water starts to turn yellow. It's because of the herbs, it's Italian seasoning, rosemary, garlic powder, and I would actually encourage you to taste it first before putting the pasta. Alright, that tastes good, salty enough. Water is boiling everyone. Now we put in the pasta. So just put everything in to this yummy, and then just fan it like this, that way it's gonna cook a little bit faster. So push the pasta in into the hot water and we will just wait right now for the pasta to cook. So it's actually 6 minutes instead of 10 minutes. You just have to check all the time. Um, it's al dente so as you can see here I'm gonna take a couple of pastas and then just with my two fingers press it like this and then it's soft enough and it's gonna fall off. That's when you know when they're ready. Don't remove all the pasta water because it's gonna add taste to your pasta. The pasta is ready. And we will make the rest. Let's cool it off a little bit. Okay. We got fresh materials from the market. We're gonna open it. But first we're gonna add a little bit more shrimp because we have only five, no six actually. So we're gonna add just a little bit more. Be good. Some fresh scallops from the store, and now we have the man of the hour a lobster tail. Woohoo! Alright, oil. Just add a little bit of butter. Okay, now the butter melts all the way. Now we are gonna add the shallots and garlic. Let the shallot and garlic cook until it's golden brown. So here I have a chili pepper to add a little bit more spice. That way we get some kick into the pasta and I know grandma loves spice. Now if you don't like spicy, that's completely fine. You can still add chili into your pasta without adding the seed. So you want to remove the seed first before you add the chili. While the shallots and the garlic is cooking, put some chili in, just like that. Now as you can see, the color is starting to change. It's a little bit more yellow than before. So I'm just gonna put it in. This is important because then all the flavor of the lobster will go into your pasta and your pasta will taste like seafood. So. We're just gonna wait for the scallop and the lobster to brown, the scallop to red, no, the scallop to brown, the lobster to red. <laughs> now after about a minute, the scallop should be ready and brown enough, now we're gonna flip it. Just like that, see it's a little bit char on one side. Come on buddy, let's flip. Come on buddy. Okay, look at that. Some red lobster. 
Okay, now we're just gonna wait just a little bit more and then we're gonna put some shrimp. Shrimp inside just makes everything, everything. So as you can see, the shrimp is much faster to cook. See now, maybe just another minute or less, then we can add the pasta in. You don't want to wait until the shrimp goes like from from a, a big sea into a no, because that's overcooked. Into the pan. And let's not forget. Now to add a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna add just a little bit of sparkling wine. Ideally, it's white wine, but sparkling wine works too, just to add that notch of that, um, you know, holistic taste, I would say. <laughs> so a little bit of wine, just like that. Just to add a little bit more flavor. Another dimension of flavor. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it tastes good. So we're gonna get the heat a little bit higher. That way the alcohol evaporates. And to make sure that all the seafood is cooked, we're gonna actually put a lid on top of it and just let it cook for a few minutes. Squeeze in the lemon. Like that. Now close it back. That way everything mixed together, the aroma, the flavor, the seafood, all the way cooked. Just need to close it for a few more minutes and then we add parsley and we're ready to serve. Ooh, looks good. Now everything is cooked. All the sauces are mixed. All the spices are extracted. Now we're gonna add just a notch of parsley. Mix everything together. All right, everything is ready. Now we are serving. Okay, turn it off. Now we're just gonna put everything there. All right. see all the seafood, the lobster, the pasta. I'm salivating guys. This looks really good. And that's how you make the smoke. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so this is how you make the seafood spaghetti scampi. It's not that difficult. This is my grandma's favorite. This is for her birthday. And I'm sure if she make it at home, she will be able to do it. And she will enjoy it as much as we do. So we're gonna be making one of my grandma's favorite desserts. And that is a root beer float. So right now we have some Haagen-Dazs ice cream. We love some good old plain vanilla. To be honest, you can really just use any ice cream, but vanilla has a very, just normal taste, I guess. It's not very overpowering in a way. Um, so that makes it have a blank canvas. So the root beer taste can also really come through and shine. And we love Haagen-Dazs because it is so creamy and easy to scoop out. So we're gonna get one scoop in. Boop. So I got one and a half scoops in. And now we got our root beer. and we just pour it in. I think I'm gonna need a straw to push stuff down or a chopstick or something. <laughs> this is really not going down, is it? There we go. And since the root beer is carbonated, it'll be a little bubbly at the top. So we can push that down a little bit. And that should be it. So here you are, a classic American root beer. 
which is absolutely amazing. And I hope that grandma likes it. <laughs> Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification button. And if you try the recipe, please let us know what you think. Just write back on the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you for celebrating our grandma's birthday together through watching this video. And for Oma, I hope you have a great birthday and you can always eat seafood pasta with lobster tail tahu tech and root beer float whenever you are because you have the recipe now you don't have to worry to go out and you can be safe inside the house and not getting corona at all okay oma stay safe everyone bye